Hello guys, welcome again to the blog Arduino by myself and also to the Instructables. Today we will talk about our second project with Arduino and PID. We have now a new goal, controlling the amount of ventilation to an environment via a fan using the physical position of a little board as a feedback. In this video specifically, we will address the electronics construction of the apparatus that makes uh, env uh, environments ventilation measurement. So, uh, this is the circuit assembled for the project PID control with the Arduino. And first, we can see that there is a potentiometer which does the adjust of the set point in our control system. Uh, this potenti potentiometer here and this potentiometer here in my in my circuit, in my board, in my breadboard, uh, makes the adjust of the set point. Um, this potentiometer has its externals, uh, terminals connected to the positive and negative of the Arduino's power supply. The central terminal is an output signal to the Arduino. It is connected to the A1 pin and its signals vary from 0 to 5 volts. And this block here in the circuit and here in the breadboard, we can see the driver to control the DC motor. The DC motor that is being used is a strong engine. We can notice that uh, it rotates in steps due to the strong magnetic field the, for this motor. And this motor has a high speed and consumes about uh, 1.3 amps of current uh, with a maximum voltage of 5 volts. Our drive consists of a MOSFET transistor like uh, IRFB250 whose, whose circuit is quite simple. The signal from Arduino enter in a anode of diode that protects the gate of the our, of our MOSFET transistor. The drain pin uh, will be connected to the anode of a diode uh, is a protection against reverse polarity and the cathode of the diode is connected to the 5 volts power supply and this power supply uh, must be uh, external power supply and must supply us more than 2 amps of current to, to our DC motor. Never use the Arduino power supply or the USB power supply port, the USB port for this purpose. So, use an external 5 volts power supply. In parallel of with the diode, will be connect the DC motor, obeying its polarity. And the source terminal of the MOSFET will be directly connected to a GND. Uh, remember that the GND of Arduino uh, 
should be connected in common of the DC motor or the driver control. Uh, so I need to connect GND of Arduino with the GND of our DC motor control. This circuit schematic and also the driver's circuit and interconnection with Arduino will be available for download on Arduino by myself dot blogspot dot com dot br. In our apparatus, we have a, we have a block with the sensor. TCRT 5000 and here in our schematic ha has uh, the connection uh, positive and negative and the signal connected to A0 of the Arduino. This sensor consists uh, of a uh, TCRT 5000 component that is a infrared transmitter and receiver. The LED transmitter will be connected between the 5 volts and GND and has a resistor of 220 ohms as polarization. The receiver for transistor will be connected between the 5 volts and GND and has a resistor of 10k ohms as a polarization. The signal from the sensor must be connected to the A0 pin in Arduino and this sensor sends an analog information between 0 and 5 volts proportional to the distance of the object related to the sensor how much farther is the bulkhead as higher is the voltage and vice versa the structure was mounted with a strip of punched metal which may be found in chops of materials and equipments usually found in tapes or strips so uh, use your creativity to build your extruder this extruder contains a tower for the DC motor which is the system fan. It should be uh, proper for this, this role and rotates in the correct direction. A pendulum contains a book head to receive the wind located at the top and a book head for the sensor located at the bottom. You should note that the bottom of the pendulum should be heavier to get the pendulum effect when the wind when the wind force is being applied to the top and when you are not getting this force it should return to to rest in the vertical position that's all for this video i hope you enjoy it and do not forget to subscribe in the channel and favorite this video thanks all for watching